Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to BWTM Sports. Burns versus Crawler. We are now in round three. Apologies, I was doing the Eubank fight, as you know. So I said I wouldn't do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. So we're in round three at the moment. Ricky Burns versus... Okay, good morning, good Anthony afternoon. Crawler. So we're in round three. We're coming to the end of round three. 40 seconds to go. Burns pots out a combination there. Um, and they it, at the moment, from what I've seen, the last couple of rounds I've been watching, it looks just like a friendly spa between two mates. That's what it looks like. But uh, maybe this fight a hot up down the down the down the stretch. I'll just wait until the bell goes, unless something spectacular happens in the next ten seconds. Then I'll just let this round go. So apologies for not following this fight from the start, but um. Let's let this fight go to the end of the round. That's the end of the round. Okay. So my thoughts on this, I think that, in personal opinion, I think Ricky Burns is the better fighter, boxer fighter. He's fought at a much higher level. Um, he's been a multiple, I think, multi, I think multiple weight world champion. I think he's fought better. That's he's fought better opposition. I think he's got, I think he's the bigger puncher between the two of them um and i think um yeah i like i like I don't, it's just a matter of how many fights ricky burns has got left in him you know the indongo fight was maybe a step too far for him but um yeah we'll see how burns does matchroom have promoted this fight a shot or not possibly yeah, I like the way they're all embracing Luke Campbell now. I like embrace Luke Campbell from the start. I thought Luke Campbell's an excellent fighter. But, you know, British fans don't, a lot of British fighters don't, British fans don't get behind British fighters unless they're big, big names. And I like Luke Campbell. I think he's quality, quality. And I think he proved himself against um, uh, Linares the other night. So he's a better fighter than Crawler, Kron Kron that's for sure, for absolute sure. Anyway, we're in round four now. This is Crawler versus Burns. Um, Crawler in the black and yellow trunks. Burns in the, um, well, red, white, and blue. You'd think he was American. Stars and stripes. Maybe maybe he's mentally wants to think he's going to be fighting an American. I don't know. But anyway, um, I think Burns has the power to stop Anthony Crawler, actually. I really do. Crawler's digging body shots in at the moment. Yeah, every time I watch Ricky Burns, their shots always look like they're either falling short or they're going they're going over the person's head. Nice little combination here from Burns, still not connecting. He's not I wouldn't call him the most accurate of fight punches, Burns. Nice little combination there from um Crawler. Both fighting behind high guards. It's just a matter of how much Burns wants to fight. So if, if Burns really wants this fight, he I think he can win this fight. But Crawler looks to fresh out the two fighters at the moment. Yeah, Crawler, Burns, I've always said it, Campbell beats both of these guys. Easy. Easy. If I were Ricky Burns, I wouldn't be standing off the front foot trying to box uh, Crawler. I'd put him on the back foot, make him go back against the ropes, use his physical strength and bully um, and Crawler. Don't try and box Crawler. I think Crawler throws the more um, polished punches. And I think that uh, Burns is probably physically more stronger guy in there. That's what I think. I don't want to see um, B um, Burns trying to box Crawler. I want to see... Oh, good shot there. His right hand is a key there. I think Burns has got the power to hurt Crawler. I don't think Crawler has got the power to hurt Burns. I think. I could be wrong there. See, it's better if Burns keeps Crawler on the back foot against the ropes. He's got a choppy little right hand. He's landing a, a slashing right hand. That right hand could cause Bert, um, Crawler some problems. Good little uppercut there from Crawler on the inside. I'd like to see Burns put Crawler on the back foot. Don't allow him to get any momentum in the body shots. They're landing more heavier shots in round four, though. I'm not sure there's much point in me scoring this fight because, to be honest, 
I don't know what the first three rounds were like. So, I don't know. This looks like a sparring session for me. Burns should be the, the, the bigger man, I think. So, okay, we're seeing the first round now. I'll have a look at the first round. Crollo is half a step back. Yeah, he's making Burns miss by taking half a step back. That's that's good there. So he's making uh, Burns fall short. So that's interesting. I, I don't know who I've got winning, mate, because I, it'd be unfair to say I knew who I've got winning because I haven't seen the first two rounds or first three rounds. I was doing the commentary for the Eubank fight. So I can't see who I've got winning. I can tell you what I'm seeing at the moment um, or what I'd like to see happen to make this fight interesting. Uh, Burns has got to stop this trying to be the master boxer on the outside because he's not. The person who throws the better correct punches is uh, Crawler, for my, for my take. Million Dollar Crawler throws the better, more correct punches. However, I think Burns is the heavier man, heavy, heavier handed guy, and I think Burns is the physically stronger man. So I think he's got to impose his will, his physical strength, and don't try and box Burns, um, Crawler. Burns has got to get on, get Crawler. Onto his back foot, start digging body shots in and push collar back. Start pushing collar back. Use the double jab and push collar back. Don't let collar set to get the left hook to the body off. As all uh, Gallagher fighters are the same. You know, tuck up, left hook to the body. There you go. Tuck up, left hook to the body. Always the same. Nothing changes. So, yeah, collar left hook to the body there. Burns moving from moving his head from left to right, side to side, but uh, nobody's throwing any punches. I'm not sure why Burns is moving from his head from move to right, but no punches being thrown. And then when Cross throws the punches, he actually gets caught with punches. Strange movement there. Okay, maybe he's trying something out there. Call up uh, Burns throwing shots, but they're all missing. They're all missing. Uh, Crawler's able to slip inside a lot of Burns' shots. Burns has got to push Crawler back. Burns, Crawler's doing the better. Well, Crawler's doing the better work for me. That's the way he's got to be. That's where he's got to force the fight, Ricky Burns. Force Crawler back into a fight. That's what he's got to do. But again, Ricky Burns is another one of these guys that when he throws his shots, he leaves himself exposed. So that's what he's got to do, Burns. Push Crawler back. That's how he's got to fight, Burns. This is a better round for Burns at the moment. But he's got to do that more. So for me, if the fight stays in the middle of the ring, it's Collar's fight. If Burns is going to win this fight, he's going to win this fight back in him against the ropes. That's it. That's it. That's it. Collar's got to, uh, Burns has got to push Collar back. That's it. They're they're mixing it up now on the inside. Collar now has a uh, Burns got Collar against the ropes, but Collar is fighting off the ropes well. Slipping to the side from body shots. That's a nice shot there from Burns. Burns has got to push his physical strength, push his strength onto a to crawl and see if he can tie him out that way. Really make it into a dogfight. Forget this beautiful boxing crap. Turn it into a war. Good body shot there from Burns. And those body shots will tell. Clubbing shots from Burns. But it's catching a lot of uh, crawlish work, catching our shots on the gloves. Better stuff from Burns this round. He's had a bit, much better round this round, Burns. Good body shot there from Burns. Shots seem to be more uh, effective in this round, Burns. I'm not sure if I can give Burns a round. But uh, Burns' work rate was upped and he looked better in the fourth round. Fourth, is fourth or fifth round? Let's see now. Replay. Crawler's jab, nice jab there. It threw a little uppercut inside, it was nice. Body shots, the body work there from Crawler. Burns missing. He's showing the highlights here. Well, you know who they want to win this fight? Crawler. They want Crawler to win this fight for sure. I think it's either round four or round five. No, I'm only coming at round three. I started watching from round three. This is round five. So, if I were Burns, I, to win this fight, Burns has got to keep Crawler on the back foot. 
start of round six thanks a lot so round five to round six i was right so it's coming into round six now burns has got to step it keep step it up push push collar back if he doesn't he's going to lose his fighting points can't be backing up to crawler he's got to be doubling up that jab and pushing crawler to the ropes walking crawler back nice little combination work there from crawler where collar gets inside he's working the left hook to the body and left hook left hook to the body and then the right hook to the body and when ricky burns is missing he's slipping inside and throwing body shots again Something happened there, clash of heads. Ricky Burns was first to pull away. Away they go again. This is like a, I'm not being funny. This looks like a uh, glorified sparring session. Yeah, as long as Ricky Burns stays on the back foot, he's going to lose to the better boxer. But if he goes and puts Crawler on the back foot, he win, He can win this fight. But if, Crawley, if he keeps standing like he is at the moment here, he deserves to lose the fight. In fact, he deserves to get knocked out. You see, I, there's nothing worse than watching a guy box and, and knowing his best attributes are when he goes forward. And his worst attributes is if he stays on the back foot. He's making, Crawler is outworking Burns at the moment. He's outworking Burns. He's not throwing nothing of any real genuine, right, spiteful punches. He's just outworking him. Do you know what I mean? It's like he's not putting full weight in the punches. And Burns just seems like a guy who's forgotten what the script is. Yeah, I'm, I'm, Crawler's okay. I've, I've never been so hot on Crawler, to be honest. It's not I don't like him. Not I don't like him. I've just never been hot on him. You know? But he's just a, a good fighter. But you've got to give him credit for how he became world champion. But there's no way he was beating Linares. Absolutely no way. In hell. Hi, man, you should get two fights with Lawrence. I just don't know. I mean, he went for the unification, of course. Understandable, but. Now, as for Ricky Burns, so being such an experienced fighter, what the hell is he doing? He's allowing uh, Crawler to outbox him and outwork him. I don't know what Ricky Burns' plan is. I don't know what his plan is. The long right hand's not working because most of it's shooting over um, Crawler's head so i don't sure what burns is doing he's still he's on the back foot yeah you could say crawler did overachieve see and the longer this goes on like this crawler gets himself into a rhythm and you might start getting cheeky and landing some more heavier heavier shots you could tell they're two mates you really can tell it's two mates fighting yeah crawler does want it more in the round but burns just looked like you know what he's turned up he, he, he's just turned up to the ring he's like you know what let's have a 12 round spa mate i can't read me but i can't be asked today mate but eddie asked me to to come in and have a fight you know just to set things up you know because no, i'm a bit short of a bit of cash so i'm gonna I'll have a box tonight I'll have a spa of 12 rounds don't knock me out right you can beat me on points and i you know i'll, I'll go into the sunset and then you know one of one of us two guys he, he can go on and fight um luke campbell in the future you get because you, you know it's going to happen and i can't I, I didn't really want to be commentating this fight in the first place but i thought you know what while i'm here it's on why not commentate on it but it's a glorified sparring session i knew that before we've, we as soon as the fight has been announced glorified sparring session because they're two mates taking photographs before the fight's even happening what kind of nonsense is that? I mean, taking photographs in, in, in the hotel room and smiling and taking photographs. It's glorified sparring session. This is round seven. Again, I don't know what his trainer is telling uh, Burns. I don't know what the plan is. But I don't get it. Yep, Collar is winning this fight. Uh, Collar lost the first round, but since then he's won every single round according to Carl Froch. And... It, I mean, I don't understand how a guy, a free weight world champion, does not know his, by now his strengths and weaknesses. I think he's trying to get a little cute now and trying to counter what uh, Crawler's doing. But, you know, I'm a bit perplexed as to what Burns is trying to do. I, mean, I know he's trying to try and counter, I don't get it. And he's around seven. Doesn't his trainer or his camp or do, do not understand that they are behind on points? 
do you not know, understand by doing the same thing all the time expecting different things is insanity it's like action replay that's all i'm seeing at the moment the same thing happening over and over again burns stands in the center of the ring crawler out working him there you go crawler's just digging but anyway we just have a swap of body shots now there we go burns and, and crawler swapping body shots in the middle of the ring you throw two body shots i throw two body shots i'm just waiting for eddie hearn to say this is the ward gatty of the of of the uh british uh, uh the british arena the british ward and gatty i'm just waiting for him to say here we go collar throwing body shots in sinking body shots into burns burns only hope not hope now is to not crawl her out i'm sorry but at this rate i think ricky burns is slightly cut as well and crawl is just out working burns I think he hit him with a body shot and he, he hit him with a, a low blow and then Crawler just sort of like backed up and said something to, to Burns. They like two mates sparring. As my old friend would say, this is reckless boxing from Ricky. Where's Ricky Burns? Where's Ricky Burns tonight? As the Jim Watt would say, this is reckless boxing. This is reckless boxing from Ricky. What What is Ricky doing? Rick, this is Ricky, 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 ha this is Ricky, Ricky Burns. This is reckless from Ricky Burns, as Jim Watt would say. Absolutely reckless. Yeah, Eubank did smoke that guy earlier on. Oh, God. I, I swear, this is just a glorified sparring session. And it's just, crawling now, just landing body shots at will. And just Burns holding on. And of course, the British fans will enjoy this and say they want a rematch. Yeah, uh, decent scrap, nothing mind blowing. Campbell sparked both. I agree. Jamie Moore. I'm waiting for it. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for somebody to say Jamie Moore is one of the best trainers in the world. I'm wa I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for somebody to say. I'm waiting for it. I'm just waiting for somebody from Sky to say, uh, it's only a matter of time, Jamie Moore is a world-class trainer. I'm waiting for those words. Jamie Moore, world-class trainer. I'm waiting for it. And I'm waiting for it to happen within the next six months. Because Joe Gallagher is a world-class trainer. Yeah, I think so. I think he will take the Josh Taylor fight, Ricky Burns. But I, I don't, that was a nice shot by Burns, the uppercut he picked. See, I actually believe that Ricky Burns has got the power to stop Crawler. I do believe that. But I don't know if he... I believe Burns has got the power to stop Crawler. I just don't believe if he's... I don't believe he's got the heart to stop Crawler. What I mean by that is I don't think he's... I think he's too nice. I think he'd rather let Crawler beat him up rather than actually let stop Crawler. I, I don't know if you get what I'm saying there by that. I think between the two of them, I think if, if someone's going to do something nasty, it'd be Crawler. Not burns i don't know why i feel that and it and crawler's the kind of guy that if you're spying him out of the two of them uh, burns and crawler i think crawler's the one that might but they're both nice guys i think crawler's the one between the two i bet that would land the, the sneaky nasty left shot to the body first there's too much money for them to have it in scotland i agree not to have it in scotland i agree there's a bit more spite in Burns' punches in this round. A bit more spite. But I don't know if he's going for broke. Needs to let his hands go more. Who? Burns? I think he's letting his hands go. It's just where his hands are landing. It's not, it's not letting his hands go. It's where they're landing. And that's the problem with Ricky Burns. It's where it's, I still think Burns can stop. Crawler, I really do. All Crawler's doing at the moment, like a, like a Busby, right? I still think Burns can stop him. I really do. Maybe it's just me being sentimental about Ricky Burns. I really think he can stop Crawler. Because I don't think Crawler's that great. But Crawler is bloody outworking Burns. Burns is like the walking punching bag at the moment. Do you know what? I'm going to say it here. Ricky Burns is shot. And I, when I like, shot, I think he's finished. He, you know, the things you say with a guy missing with punches, snap, not there. You know, missing, 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 timing not there. Your, your, your mind's telling you to do one thing, but your body's not. 
able to let it go that that sort of thing it just seems you know i just i don't know he's he, like he's trying to remember what to do but every time he tries to let his hands go crawler's missing can make him miss making him pay out working him burns doesn't know if he wants to be on the inside or the outside he doesn't know if he's a slugger or he's a boxer he's a body you know he's de dedicated to be a, a a body puncher if he, he's head hunting he don't know what he's doing now he's got he's got uh collar against the ropes finally throwing some pitter patter punches again collar just out working no, I, I it's not even putting me in talk collar out working burns in this round nothing spectacular is going on collars just going forward throwing punches and ricky burns trying to throw punches and just looking uncoordinated and ungainly you know ricky burns has always looked ungainly when he throws his shots but it's just ungainly but as an old man doing it now i'm sorry i really am sorry but ricky burns is finished he's not the guy that he once was and i'm not being a rocket scientist or trying to be a a, a, a smart ass here it's just a shame because I don't think I don't think Crawley in his prime. I don't think Ricky Burns in his prime. Crawley could beat Burns in his prime. I read on. I don't. This is the same Burns that I said would knock out um, Kevin Mitchell. I think Kevin Mitchell would knock out uh, Crawley as well. Uh, yeah, thirty-four. He's definitely gone. Had a great career and came back after losing so much money. He did. Fair play. Um, it's true. Um, Dan Rogers says, I believe, I agree, Burns is shot and has been for the last few fights. I wish somebody would say that. I wish somebody would say, I don't know what the commentary is saying, but he's shot. I mean, what, what, what are people going to say after this fight? Oh, Collar's back. He beat a, a, a free weight world champion or something like that. I mean, I mean, what is the point of this fight? I'm not quite sure. Is this kind of like Collar's reintroduction to world boxing? And then after this, he's going to get a fight against Luke Campbell? Well, if he's thinking of fighting Luke Campbell like this, I think Luke Campbell's going to absolutely destroy crawler just because there's the number of reasons why i think he's going to destroy crawler first of all luke campbell is pretty heavy-handed i think i think secondly crawler um campbell's a better boxer than than um than crawler um campbell's a better boxer than crawler and thirdly um <sighs> crawler is pretty basic you know left jab right hand left hook to the body pretty basic I don't see nothing extraordinary or special about him. So I think Campbell's got a little bit of special, something a little special about him. Oh, dear. And I have to say that, again, this is not me slagging off Crawler here, but he did beat the worst boxer, in, in one of the worst world champions of history, which is Dali Perez. I don't know where they picked up that guy. I don't know where the hell they picked up Dali Perez from. No idea whatsoever. Oh, that's a good, that was a good body shot there from Burns, though. I was right on the borderline. That's a nice body shot. There you crawl again. Body shots. Nice uppercut there from Ricky Burns. Shout out to my man, Boxing Gossip. He's just finished producing a post-fight thoughts with uh, yeah, Eubank Jr. and, and Yildrum. What the hell is Ricky Burns doing? What is he doing? As I said before, this is just a glorified sparring session, which Crawler's going to win on points. I don't even know if I want to watch the last four rounds of this fight or three rounds of this fight. What is he doing? I'm just baffled. I know what Crawler's doing. Crawler's boxing the game plan. I've got no idea what Ricky Burns is doing, apart from being a walking punching bag that throws a few punches. I don't get it. I don't understand it. He throws the same combinations and misses with the shots. Even if he said, you know what, what I'm going to do from now on is just put my head, go for it's now, Crawler's now beating Burns to the jab. You can see what Crawler's trying to do. Crawler's trying to catch Burns' work, and then when Burns tries to unload punches, slip inside, whack the body. Yeah, the Burns that beat Mitchell will win this fight. Yeah, of course he would. Definitely. 
the Burns that won the world title would win this fight. I think the Burns up to the fight where he, before he got his jaw broken by Ray Beltran. I told everyone that watch out Ray Beltran. His left hook is dangerous and <laughs> his left hook dropped Burns. And I, I still don't think Burns has been the best, the, the, the same fighter since he broke his jaw. Just showing height. That's a, that was a nice body shit he landed. Just on the border, I thought. Burns. Let me look at it again. Let me see that body shot. Let me show the jab there. Nice jab there from Burns. I'd love to be. I'd love to be at the uh, post-fight press conference for Eubank Junior versus Yildrim. I would love to be. I'd love to see if he's going to say, "Stop laughing at me! Stop laughing at me! I'll knock you out." <laughs> this is round ten. Oh dear, I'm sorry I can't give you anything more entertaining to say or, or to commentate on because <sighs> Crowley left up to the body. Centre ring they are again. Turns pushing out that tentative jab. That's not having an ineffective jab. Again, nice jab by Crowley. Crowley just setting himself and throws a right hand straight down the pipe to Burns. Again, again, pushes, trying to push Burns back to ropes. Crawler's doing what Burns should be doing to him, keeping Crawler on, keeping Burns on the back foot. Burns should be keeping Crawler on the back foot. Dear, dear me. Dear, dear me. It's just, it's terrible. God, dear. Is there some more boxing channel five two is there yeah i think there is who's fighting tonight somebody else is fighting tonight i saw it earlier nice combination there some white dude with braids okay white dude with braids okay lee selby all oh, right okay that's great um Oh, uh, my good friend, my Welsh friend. It's not, I don't think it's Lee Selby. It could be Andrew Selby fighting tonight. That could be the fight that's at uh, York Hall with um, Andrew Selby. Yeah, Andrew Selby's fighting tonight. And and uh, what's the guy named? Byfield, who he interviewed on the channel. Again... Yeah, see? Collar coming forward again. No, Burns coming forward. I don't know what the hell that combination was. I don't know what that combination Burns was. He threw a combination and it looked like he did a hammer fist at the end of it. <laughs> to the top of Crawler's head. Oh, man, this is terrible. This is woeful. This is woeful. I can imagine Adam Smith saying, could we be watching the final... The final chapter of Ricky Burns' long and illustrious career. Ricky Burns. Crawler looks like he's got this in the band. What do you think, Johnny? I can imagine Adam Smith saying that. It's been a long road for Ricky Burns. A very long road for Ricky Burns. And tonight, it looks like the tank has gone empty. Totally empty. Oh, there you go. There's uh, Glenn McCrory there. The tank looks absolutely empty. Is that Glenn McCrory commentating tonight?
Let's see who's doing the commentary in a second. Yeah, good. Talks what got sense. This is shit. <laughs> it is what it is. I don't know how. It's it's mighty close. What do you mean it's mighty close? I've had Conor running. It's, he's running away with his fight. Oh dear, I'm not. Even, I'm not even repeating that. I like Glenn. I've got a lot of time for Glenn McCrory. I met him when I was at Sheffield, but I've been talking to Glenn for years. I like Glenn. He's a nice guy. Nice guy. Great personality. In fact, I've got a couple of interviews with, with it on on the channel. Uh, Scott Gilmore, I have to put. I have to agree with you. It is shite. With a capital S, capital I, couple of I, couple, couple of H, couple of I, couple of T. Cap, proper shite. This is. And I have to be honest. I don't like you swearing and stuff, but it is shite. This is shite night. It's not fight night. It's shite night. Absolute shite. Now they're going to try and have a, raw, a, a, a brawl now. But this is terrible. This is. I've, I've seen more action in sparring sessions. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Makes you wonder why Sky didn't keep him as a pundit. Sky like to be correcting it. They have to be correcting all they do. Then body shots. I don't know how they're not hurting Burns because he's just allowing Crawler just to throw body shots and do what the hell he wants, basically. There's been no consequences for Crawler's work. Absolutely no. Yeah, absolute shite night. That's what it is. Shite night on Sly Sports. You know what, Crawler? You know what? I hope Crawler knocks Burns out now. Crawler, Burns is making me sick. I'm fed up watching Burns tonight. I really am. Do you know what, Ricky Burns fan? But I'd like to see him get knocked out now. I'm not being funny because. He's doing shite. He's doing nothing. Absolute nothing. Absolute nothing. And what, why are the crowd jumping up on their feet? It's absolute shite watch I'm watching here. Absolute shite. Sly sports with shite night. This, I'm sorry. This is what it is. Pure shite. I hope, I hope Burns gets knocked out. I'm sorry. I can't watch this anymore. There's nothing worse than watching a guy at box, right? When well, you know he can do better going on the front foot, getting out of box by a guy who's not even his superior. Do you know what I mean? Crawler's not Burns' his superior. He's made him look superior tonight because he's boxed the wrong fight. When has, when has uh, 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 Burns been a, uh, on the back foot counter puncher? You tell me when he's been that. Shite night. A proper shite night. Ten rounds. <laughs> Burns ain't been stopped in almost fifty fights. He needs to get stopped tonight. You know what we need? We need um, what's his name? Ian John Lewis. It's stop our bus. I told you. It's stop your bus home if you you know stop. He, he, it's he. Ian John Lewis. You can stop a bus. He can stop a. He can stop a train. Yeah, I might have to call Ian John Lewis the Man of Steel. He'll stop anything. Caroline Cooper says they got told by Eddie to take it easy tonight. Probably. It's a sparring session. That's what it is. It's a frigging sparring session. I'll see you more action at the big market in Newcastle. Shite night. <laughs> it is. Shite night and Sly Sports. I'm, surpri I'm surprised they're not trying to pull this one off as a pay-per-view. I'm not joking. Look at it. They've been hugging and kissing one another from round one. Oh, now we might have a tear up in the last round. I'm hoping. Let's try to be constructive for round 12. Let's see if we get a tear up. No, we're not going to get a tear up if Ricky Burns is going to keep standing off of collar. Jesus Christ. Come on, quick your teeth, get forward and throw some punches. Come on, Burns, do something. Jesus. Do you know what I feel like doing to Ricky Burns? I feel like getting a Rockweiler and putting it behind him. So every time he decides to step back against Collar, the Rockweiler goes, and tries to bite him. No, he didn't score a 10 10, did he? Oh, no. No, 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 no. 
This is reckless boxing from Ricky. Absolutely reckless. Reckless. I mean, where's Ricky Burns tonight? Where is Ricky Burns? Arm punches from Ricky. So we're going to see Crawler versus some bum for regular belt and Campbell Burns in the 218. They've been great. Well, you know it's coming. You know it's coming. No, you're going to get Burns. You get Burns versus Taylor, you know, because you've got the Eddie Hearn versus uh, Barry McGuigan saga again. Indogo took his soul. Like his soul was taken before Indogo. His soul was... His soul was... His soul started going when he fought Beltran and then Kufa came on and finished the job off. No, his soul was soul when he went to Eddie Hearn and Eddie Hearn said... Yeah, it's going to be all right. He's got the contract. The contract's okay. And he moved over to Frank Warren. And then Frank Warren, Warren took him for all his money, didn't he? Remember that? Jesus. He saw, he saw what's gone a long time ago. I don't know how he still came, came back to boxing after all that. I mean, that was devastating for Ricky Burns. He's still doing that shot again. I don't know if his trainer is a terrible trainer or Ricky Burns just decided, What the hell is Ricky Burns doing? What is he doing? I've got no idea what Burns is doing tonight. Oh my God, he's throwing punches that just are not landing. It's embarrassing. Burns needs to retire. He needs to retire. He really does. Crawler has outworked Burns over 12 rounds. This shouldn't even be close. This shouldn't even be a draw. This should be like, not be funny. This is a 118, 110 fight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is terrible. It's KO. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm sorry, boxing fans. I'm sorry. This is probably the worst fight I've seen after Crawler Dali Perez, I think. This is terrible. Look at him. Go and hug one another. Give yourself a kiss. Go on. I didn't kiss one another. Like, what? They, they ce Crawler celebrated like he's won the, the, the championship of the world. I, I, I just got that fight. I just nicked it. I must have just nicked it. My God. Oh, my God. You, I, I'm not listening to the commentary. Will we see it again? Will it be close? Adam Smith. That was a barn burner of a fight there between Crawler and Burns. Crawler, younger man. Burns. Crawler, the younger, fresher man. Burns, the old dog. The old wise dog. Will we see it again? Will it go to the scorecards and be a draw? Jesus. <laughs> they want this guy to go under. Okay. I'm surprised they didn't kiss one another. I really am. Boy, Crawler and things said that was a Jamie Moore as a draw. No. 116-114. Come on, behave yourselves. Come on, man. 116, 114. Behave yourselves, man. See, he, he, listen, the, the fight more or less went the same way for 12 rounds. Burns trying to win the fight from the outside and Crawler coming in and just whacking body shots. Whacking body shots. Outworking. The man landed more punches. The man landed more crisper punches. The man landed more eye telling punch, eye catching punches. The man landed the correct punches. Say eighty five percent of a Rick, eighty five to ninety percent of Ricky Burns's punches were either missed or he was overstretching. Or I don't understand. How you can frigging call this fight a draw unless you want a rematch. I don't want to see this fight again. I don't want to call this fight. I don't want to hear. I just, let me let me hear the scorecards on Shite Night. Let me hear the scorecards. What? Crawler. Come on, that. Come on. Come on, Ricky. Come on, Ricky. Come on, Ricky. You know you didn't win that fight, Ricky. Come, let's be honest. You know you didn't win the fight, Ricky. You know you didn't win the fight. Come on.
have some respect for free weight champion. <laughs> I've got respect. But come on, Ricky. I mean, I, I respect Ricky Burns as a fight. I've always liked Ricky Burns as a fight. But to be honest, tonight was terrible. Terrible. Because he fought the wrong fight against Crawler. He made Crawler look million dollars, quite literally. Because he allowed Crawler to get onto the front foot and box. When he should have, Ricky Burns should have had from round one. Look, I'm not having this. Slam him onto the back foot and go for it. But neither of these guys beat Luke Campbell, to be honest. And um, I don't, I, I, Burns needs to retire. Burns needs to retire. I'm sorry. I want to hear what they've got to say. Will you do it again? Don't ask that question. So special, Manchester, I love you. Took us through the fight. The general consensus was it was close. Were you sure that you had done enough? Yeah, I thought I'd definitely done enough, but man, I knew how big this guy's engine was. And uh, he just kept coming. And people was on about me thinking, oh, would he tell you? Because come down to land me. I knew he wouldn't. And, uh, they gave me a very, very tough fight, but I thought that might cause a little shot to Would you like to come back here and have another shot at a world title? Of course I would. Listen, of course I would. This is what I owe these people. I owe another world title. I've seen it turn out and get behind me. It's nothing but love. Listen down the line. We've got no problem in going back to work with the rematch at some point. We'll get back in on a shot at some point. But for now, yeah, we'll look at what's next in the pipeline. Ricky, you said he would do it again. Would you want to do it again? Oh, 100%. Sure. I wrote it. I wrote it. It's close, right? I thought I'd gotten an off stage earlier. No, you didn't. Uh, I'd say I was landing the clear shot. No, he wasn't. I've got them on the edge of. I've got a lot of time for these off for it. They think they can make it happen. You've got it off before. Countless times. Can you come again? Oh, drunk. In my eyes, I honestly, I thought I just did that. No, you didn't. No, it's not. No, you didn't, mate. No, he didn't. He didn't reach that fight. How can you manage to? Uh, how, I, I look at Ricky. I like you, mate. You're a good guy. You know, you, you've done really well. You've overachieved your career, I think, yourself. But at the end of the day, there's no way you won that fight, mate. Crawler outworked you from beginning to end. It was all over you like a rash. Um, You know, but I hope you got paid well for tonight's fight. But I can't believe he thought he won that fight. I really can't. I can't. <sighs> I don't, want to see, I don't want to watch no more boxing tonight. That's put me off for the whole night. It's disgusting. I, I, I'm not even going to talk a post-fight for this. Does it need a post-fight, let's be honest? Yeah, well done, um, Crawler. Well done. Um, but <sighs> Shite night. Chasing Cunningham versus Reese Bellotti on Friday fight night. And then... Sunday, the 15th of October, five world title fight extravaganza on October the 15th. That's nice. Ryan Burnett. Oh, my God. No. Uh, IBF and WBA, Bantamweight titles. Oh, good. Fair enough, then. And then October 28th, Joshua versus Kubrat Pulev. Great. Excited. I wonder whether it's going to be Sky or Box Nation that's going to get Stavern Wilder too. That'd be interesting. Right, I'm out of here. Uh, thank you all for watching, uh, listening in. I was a pile of absolute doo doo. I thought it was a pile. Of, I thought it was. That's why I didn't want to comment it in the beginning. But that was absolute shite night. I'm sorry, absolute shite. I I don't. I can't. I can't even begin to talk about that shite. I, it doesn't even deserve a post fight analysis. It was shocking. It was shite. Was a waste of time. The only thing that got like tonight was Charlie Edwards. Absolute shite. Absolute shite. I'm sorry. Sly Sports have done it again, making the public think they've seen a great fight, a war, when they've seen absolute shite. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm going to go back and play some football manager. I've been put off so much tonight by watching boxing. It's like, it's just terrible. It's awful. Traumatised. Oh, my God, Martin Murray. Oh, no. God. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad Matthew Macklin's not boxing no more. God, you know, Matthew Macklin. Matthew Macklin's fighting for his 10th world title shot. Oh, don't don't forget, we've got Paul Smith. 
coming up. He's fighting for another world title soon at light heavyweight. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, at least we've got the ever-exciting Adam, Adam Burnett coming up next in a unification bout against a guy I've never heard of before. But anyway, Adam Burnett, unified champion. Brilliant. I'm out of here. Have a good evening. Uh, have a good evening. Thanks for watching and listening in. I hope you've enjoyed Shite Night on Sky.